It's a description of the military that's become increasingly familiar. Bogus efficiency saving targets hollowing out. One is that hollowing out is finding us out. How much of a hollow out do we have to fix? And it's significant. As Defence Secretary Ben Wallace has been candid about the state of Britain's armed forces, and this phrase hollowed out is often how he describes it. Hollowing out is where you fail to resist the temptation to keep the things in the shop window, so big platforms like ships and tanks and aircraft, you want to hang on to those, and you want to try and keep as many people as you can, but then you're tempted to reduce the things that still really matter, but they're less visible. So you buy less ammunition, or you buy less fuel for training, or you buy fewer spares, and you don't repair your infrastructure, and you do those things that, that actually do reduce defence capability, but they don't affect the shop window. Although military leaders had used this phrase behind closed doors for years, it was 2013 when it really came to public prominence. When the then head of the armed forces, General Sir Nicholas Horton, made a speech containing a stark warning. Unattended, our current course leads to a strategically incoherent force structure. Exquisite equipment, but insufficient resources to man that equipment or train on it. This is what the Americans call the spectre of the hollow force. At the time, the military was bracing itself for large-scale manpower cuts, but the war in Ukraine has exposed how this hollowing out goes much further than just people. It also affects many of the unseen and unglamorous corners of defence. We have to make sure that whatever money we get, we are first and foremost fixing the hollowing out of our armed forces. We need to be properly ammoed up. We need to invest in our supply chains. We need to fix dry docks and cranes and things like that, which everyone thinks is dull. No one, you know, when I do my next press release, launching a, a crane or uh, something, no one will turn up and no one will care. I, I don't care if anyone turns up, but unless you put those maintenance, you spend the money on infrastructure, Mr. Infrastructure, you, will, um, you won't be able to run your submarines and your ships and your tanks. The government often points to the military's world-class equipment and its huge budget, the second largest in NATO. But General Barron says even that isn't enough to overcome the damage that's been done by decades of underfunding. The army, at current rates of investment, needs at least five years and more likely 10 years to be rebuilt in terms of a deployable division with the people, the equipment, the training and the stocks to be effective in the face of a confrontation with Russia. In other words, we need at least five years notice of a Russian surprise attack. And that's not a comfortable place to be in the world we now find ourselves. The government will soon publish an update to 2021's integrated review. Ben Wallace has reportedly asked for £11 billion in extra funding for the next two years, but he's expected to get just 4 or £5 billion. General Barron says plans to cut the army and its tank fleet need to be reversed, and the military reserve needs dramatically boosting in size. This period, he says, is very similar to the 1930s, when Britain rearmed just in time to protect itself from Nazi Germany. In the days of the Battle of Britain, no one knew that that was going to turn out well. And really what we need to do now is to take the decisions to reset our defence with our friends in NATO so that we don't have to contemplate a sort of digital age Battle of Britain in the future because we've got our act together in, 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 in enough time by taking what are very hard decisions. And frankly, the jury is out as to whether we're going to do that or not. Of course, not everyone agrees the military has been hollowed out. Veterans Minister Johnny Mercer says it's not a credible description given the money the MOD has had. But many in the forces will undoubtedly recognise it. And with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, General Barron says Britain's military needs urgently reconfiguring. Having an impressive shop window while the shelves inside are empty, no longer an option. Simon Newton, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.